today we will learn some of the tricks that are necessary to learn the trigonometric ratios of angles in your syllabus generally you have to remember angle theta equals to 30 degree 60 degree 45 degree 0 degree 90 degree these angles 0 30 45 60 and 90 these angles are important for your examination purpose now students generally face difficulty to remember the values of sine tan cosine of these angles generally we have to learn this trigonometric ratio table that sin 0 is 0 sin 30 is half sin 45 is 1 by root 2 but sometimes students gets puzzled during examination so today i am teaching you very easy method just you remember the value of tan if you can remember the tan 30 degree is 1 by root 3 tan 45 is 1 and tan 60 is root 3 you can find the value of other trigonometric ratios for example if you consider a right angle triangle you can give it the name abc and suppose here angle is 30 degree angle of inclination is 30 degree if i know that tan 30 tan 30 means what 1 by root over 3 here you can get that tan 30 is 1 by root 3 now tan theta means what perpendicular by base so what is perpendicular here opposite to the given angle that is angle of inclination the side is ab this is perpendicular and or opposite to the perpendicular means opposite to angle b is hypotenuse and the remaining side is base so what is perpendicular here perpendicular here is 1 you can write it here 1 and what is base root over 3 now if you apply the pythagoras theorem it means ac is equals to root over ab square plus bc square it means you are getting 1 square plus root 3 square you are getting 1 plus 3 that is 4 ultimately you are getting 2 So here you can write now two. Now it becomes very easy. If you want to find sine thirty, sine thirty is what? Sine theta is p by h. Now see what is p? P is here one. And what is h? H is two. If you want to know cos thirty, the so cos thirty cos theta is base by hypotenuse what is base base is root 3 and hypotenuse is 2 if you want to know cosec 30 cosec 30 is what reciprocal of sin means hypotenuse by perpendicular that is 2 by 1 similarly we can get sec 30 it is the reciprocal of cos 30 means h by b that is 2 by root 3 so in this way i can get other values now one more trick that sin theta is what you can remember this one sin theta is p by h cos theta is b by h tan theta is p by b i taught one poem that some people have see here some people have curly brown hair 
turns permanently black. I taught you in the first class of trigonometry that in this way you can remember the trigonometric ratio. So let us take another example. If it is 10 45 degree first we will draw a right angled triangle and give it any name a b c 10 45 means 1 so tan theta means what p by b if this is the angle inclination this part is p this part is b base and this part is hypotenuse so one one means you can write one by one here perpendicular I can write here one and base I can write here one now by Pythagoras theorem AC equals to root over one square this one AB square plus BC square BC square means one square you are getting root over two now very easily you can find other trigonometric ratios if I want to know sine 45 I know some people have means P by H what is P? P is 1 hypotenuse I have got root over 2 if I want to know cosec 45 cosec 45 is the reciprocal of sine 45 means H by P it means root over 2 if I want to know cos 45 cos 45 cos theta is b by h curly brown here what is base base is 1 hypotenuse is what root over 2 similarly sec theta sec 45 sec is the reciprocal of cos 45 so it will be h by b that means root over 2 cot theta we can find easily cot 45 cot is the reciprocal of 10 you know it means 1 in this way if I simply know the value of tan tan 0 is 0 tan 30 is 1 by root 3 tan 45 is 1 tan 60 is root 3 tan 60 is root over 3 if we can know only these values we can easily find the other trigonometric ratios of sin theta cos theta cosec theta and sec theta